what's going on guys? It's Donnie's Donuts here. And it's game three between these two teams again. Who will win this time and move to round two? We'll see. As welcome to the Fatman Storage Garage in St. John's NL for game number three. As obviously we know what happened the first two games. The Pacers took game one in a pretty well they got out to an early lead and won seven to four and obviously the Potters just absolutely dominated game two as we're underway here for game number three and that's offside early so yeah the Potters absolutely dominated game two and should have the momentum here in game number three but we'll see it's always a fun one between these two teams when game three hits Obviously, the two rivals going at it again. Here comes Trevor Zegris, and that's gloved away early as now Sullivan got that from his own zone. Jake Sullivan sauces that one up, but now that's turned over, and now Anthony Slade got it from his own zone. Trevor Zegris, long stretch pass. They got it to Burke. Gets through, and that's stopped there. As can he be stopped in this series? Oh, my, as that's turned over. Here comes Trent Witten up through center. Burke back to win in trying to shoot that puck. But now back the other way comes Jake Sullivan through the neutral zone. As now Ryan goes beyond the net. Tries to for the Michigan scores. Colby Ryan pulls off the Michigan. And it's a one nothing Pacers lead. Oh my goodness. His first Michigan goal. Look at this. Wow. And so the Pacers take a 1 0 lead off of just a, a creative goal. Obviously, the Michigan is not very easy to do. And so it's the Pacers who draw first blood in the game number three. Obviously, the, pot, the first time the Pacers have scored first, Potter scored first in the first two games. Obviously lost game one at home. And so the away team has won every game in the series so far. As now Anthony Slade got that up trying to break it out. As now Burke got that up. Here comes Big Kyle with Trent Witten going to the net. Big Kyle poked away there. As already we're seeing a better Pacers team than what we've seen in game two. And now Ryan in shoots. And that's gloved away and covered up. So the Pacers got the early lead and got the momentum. That's what they needed. Now that's one there. It's now big call. Turn over. Ryan scores again. And it's a 2-0 Pacers lead. Oh my. What a snipe. Ryan from Conroy. And the Pacers with two quick ones. Remember what happened last time? I think, yeah, the last time these two teams met was in uh, game three of the second round where the Pacers took a three. Nothing game lead, and the old oh, Witten hits the crossbar as, oh, here we go. Look at here, and rough stuff already, but oh my. Like I said, yeah, so the Pacers jumped out to an early 3 nothing lead, and the Potters tied it and ended up winning that game 6-3. to three. So... This don't matter. Two on one, maybe. Oh, Conroy just out of reach for him. Now Conroy back up high. Trying to feed that down low. And the Pacers will get a power play. What a disaster. A start for the Potters. Obviously don't want to be don't want to be knocked out for the, in the first round for the second straight year. But not the greatest start from them after a dominating game number two. Has now one there. Now Sullivan. They're going to set it up here. Everard, that's turned over. Good job by Jonathan Burke. Everard gets it back. And he's going to get that puck in. As now Conroy after the puck is going to cycle it up. Kyle to Slade now. And they're going to get it out. So first few minutes, a few seconds killed as Slade gets hit in the corner. And now a two-on-one. Witty with the shot. And that's shouldered away by Potter and out of play. Yeah, he... Jonathan Burke leads his team in points. 11 points in two games. Unbelievable. 
He's been great. Obviously been great ever since he came over to St. John's in the trade. As down, what a steal there. Oh my, couldn't get that down low. Turnover again. Ryan scores. It's a hat trick for Colby Ryan. Not even eight minutes in to game three. Can you believe it? Three nothing Pacers. Oh my, and the coach just called time out there for the Pacers or Potters just to calm everything down. Oh my. As three nothing for the Potters or Pacers. I keep making keep saying it's the Pacers. Keep saying the Pacers are the Potters and the Potters are the Pacers. As now they got there in the neutral zone. Witten steals that. It's a break. Trent Witten stopped by Bungie. Oh, no. Rebound. Oh, Zegers couldn't get a shot away. As Witten trying to get one back. And now Witten got that puck again. Now with the shot off the mask. Loose in front. Oh, he couldn't get it. And now back the other way comes Colby Ron trying to chip that up, up over a big Kyle. But he can't do it. As now it's old Burke that's offside. As a hit on the corner. And now Slade and Sullivan are getting into it. Oh my, rough stuff to start out this game. 9.25 in the first period is what a start from the Ghouls Pacers. As now shot from old Big Kyle with this. As that's a big save. As it looks like now as the Pacers are playing like the Potters did in game two so far. As that's not good news for the Potters. Shot again from Big Kyle. Trying to get one back. As now Slade at the point. Now shot. Blocked in front. A spin shot. As now trying to get that out. As trying to get the. As now shot off a of stick and wide. As the Potters finally coming on here after that timeout. But now got it down low. As now Conroy beyond the net looking. Trying to just get that to the net. Wrap around try. And that stopped. Now Witten gets it up to a streaking. Jonathan Burke shoots. Score! As it was knocked in, I think it's going to be Burke's goal. As, yeah, so it's a good goal as the net came flying off. But the I think Devin Bungie put it in his own net. And the Potters have life here. As obviously it's starting to look a lot like game three of last time they played against each other. Obviously, the Potters down early and, and managed to come back. Will this happen again? Here comes Trent Wynn with a shot. Stopped. Loose. Oh, my. Burke couldn't get to that. Now, Burke beyond the net now is couldn't get that to the front. Now, Mark Everard there. Oh, my. As couldn't get that in the zone. As now Slay gets it up. And now on the counter comes Trent Wynn with speed. He's streaking in as he's going to get tripped up. And the power play for the St. John's Potters. As and maybe they get back into this one as a goal and a power play here. And that's one there. And now Big Kyle. Another penalty coming up. Oh, that's a blocker save. Wind shot. Loose in front. As can't get it, but it's going to be a five on three for the St. John's Potters. And they got time on this one. Colby Ryan going off for interference. I think it was right out the draw. And so the crowd is getting into it now. And so Kyle got that puck with lots of space shot. And oh, that was a bullet, but it was wide. Now Everard trying to get that puck out. He can't. Jonathan Burke shot. It's blocked or is gloved, gloved away. And now got their shot from Keith Yandel. They're just firing it on. As now Zegris now going to get to the slot. Scores. Trevor Zegris makes it a one goal game 3-2 not even at the end of the first and the Potters are within one the timeout really helped and they're still on the power play and one there and so the Potters are back in this one the crowd has the crowd has given them life shot from Burke and that stopped and now Sullivan dumps that down this crowd is getting into it now as bad pass oh my could have been a two on oh but it was just offside could have tied the game 
156 left in the first. Drama here in game three. As not even at the end of the first period yet. So now Witty's going to get that down. And that's going to do for the second power play. But the Potters with a one. What a big hit that was. Now Burke with the shot on that. Gets it back. Big save there by Bungie. Oh my. They got it back there. Big Kyle with the shot. There. Backhander on that. Loose in front. Where is it? Still loose. Burke scores. Jonathan Burke has tied the game. 30 or 28 seconds left. The puck just crossed the line. Can you believe it? And in the first period, the Potters down 3 0. Bang, bang, bang. Three quick ones. Tied at three. And wow. And it's just like last last series, isn't it? Like the last series they played against each other. And now, look at here. It's a scrum here now. They're going at it. As what a start to game three. And so this ends as one final icing. This period seems like it's never going to end. He's going to pull the goalie here, obviously. Probably not going to do anything with a .7 seconds. As, yeah, that's going to do a wow, what a period. As we get set for second period action, as we're underway here in second period of game three, what a chip shot already, as what a crazy first period of game three it was, just like the last time these guys played in game three, and now back door, they score! Mark Everard makes it four to three for the Pacers, and they regain the lead. What a start to the period for the Pacers. And they jumped up to a 4-3 lead. What a pass back door. Mark Everard. And it is 4-3. And so... As now, shot from center ice from Colby Ryan has... Oh, that kind of fooled the goaltender. So yeah, as the Pacers were up 3-0. And that was a shot there. Pacers were up 3-0. Potters tied it as a what a move Ryan oh, couldn't get back past yeah so like I said they were up three nothing and then the Potters end up tying it and so it's a four three game now obviously and now Witten there trying to get to the puck first but that gets taken by Ryan and he's gonna ring it around the boards as now oh that's turned over offside as oh my big hit there and now there's gonna be another scrum as this has just been a rough game here these guys don't like each other the rivals As the Potters are out shooting the Pacers Pacers got four goals and ten shots not a great performance from Sherry Potter so far as that's flipped up as almost to the stick of Mark Everard but it's not here comes Zegers through center Zegers up the wing gets it back to Slade scores Anthony Slade has tied the game at four Great pass and Slade was joined the rush late and he snipes it. And Anthony Slade is his second goal in as many games. Oh my, and just like that, we're tied at four. What a crazy back and forth game in game three. As now Slay from his own zone is going to reverse it up the boards. Here comes Trevor Zegers to the neutral zone up the wing. Gets pass. Squeezes by Zegers to the net. Oh, he couldn't get to, couldn't get a shot away. And now up comes Everard back the other way. Mark Everard with the shot. And that's off the mask of Potter. And now back the other way comes the Potters. Trevor Zegers gets the puck. Stops up. Shoots. Loose it from Burke backhander. Rebound. Scores! Johnny Burke. Gives the Potters the lead and is the first lead in the game for the St. John's Potters. 5-4. Can you believe it? This place is going nuts. Oh my. Just like the last time 
these guys played in game three back when the Potters won the cup. Obviously back two seasons ago, the Potters went down three nothing early and it it's five to four. Obviously they won six to three last time, but the Potters once again come back on the Pacers in game three. Can they finish the job? Seagrass shoots! Oh my, that was a bad turnover there. As that's outside the zone now. As now gets their first. Now Everard shot and that's stopped there as almost tied the game at five. Here comes Witten up the wing with speed. Witten beat, oh, couldn't beat Witty. Shot there on Devin Bungie. As that stop stays in. Seagrass now back across. Oh, what a stop by Bungie. That's a big save there to keep this a one goal game as the Potters are just are, have all the momentum here. Here comes Burke up through center with speed he shoots and that's off the shoulder of Bungie. Another classic between these teams and game three. Obviously not much between these two teams. Just an absolute battle. As now here comes Colby Ryan up through center in the neutral zone. Ryan in the zone, shoots, rebound, two big stops from Potter. As oh my, as now he passed it beyond the net. Up, up to Burke, he streaks in. Now he shoots off the post. Oh my, as that up went off the pad and off the post. And now trying to leave for Everard Kent. Here comes Anthony Slade with a bomb and that missed the net. Oh my, now down low as now Ryan steals that. Here comes Mark Everard now as Jake Sullivan joined the rush. What a move, Everard in! And that's stopped there. Now behind the net, now Conroy as now fakes the Michigan as Buddy missed the pass there. And now here come the Potters. Good job by Jake Sullivan. And now Ryan has space, he's in! Big stop! But he's going to get draw penalty. And the Pacers were going the power play here. Anthony Slade goes off. For tripping oh my can the Pacers tie the game and that's one there by Trent Wynn Poirier gets the puck out and now Witty's gonna get up from his own zone they're gonna get get it back in now Comroy gets it back now one timer from Sullivan as that's blocked in front and Poirier gets the puck out and Witten might have a break as he shoots there as oh my is the penalty kill here but now stolen there a three on two the other way now here drops it for Conroy shoots up in the air over the net oh my that was close and now reverses the Everard there they they set it up now Conroy gets it oh he missed the pass kept in though as now oh another bad pass and now Ryan is in the corner passes the nobody and that's gonna do it for the power play just they couldn't get anything set up on this power play and now Everard back in the zone he's gonna cycle it around to Conroy Conroy one timer for Witty what a stop by Sherry Potter oh my gets the blocker out what a what a game so far roller coaster game Shame. Well, these teams had to lose, and Ryan off the draw, and now gets a now back. Oh, almost snuck that one in. As now they got it there. Conroy pokes it ahead around the boards. As Witten, oh my, gets absolutely demolished by Ryan. As missed the pass there, and now now the Pacers go through center. As now what a move. Conroy's in. As that stopped there. As kind of run out of. Breathing room there. Here comes Burke up the wing. Gets passed. Oh, he couldn't get it back, though. And now up comes Comroy up through the neutral zone. Comroy with a shot, and that's off the mask. As the Pacers playing a bit better than what they did before, as F's obviously after giving up that 3 0 lead. As now cycles it up the wall. Here comes Comroy with speed up the wing. Comroy, one minute to play in this second period, is now Everard as couldn't get that puck as good job there as now Ryan can't get that down low Ryan gets it back back at the point now to Sullivan shoot says that's badly wide and that's gonna do it what a period and the pa Potters take a 5-4 lead into the third
And so, at the end of this period, one of these teams will be knocked out. Unless there's overtime, oh my! As imagine, as it would only be right if it would go to overtime in this game. Obviously, both teams so even shot. Loose in front as they couldn't get that. And now Conroy gets it back the other way. Here comes Ben Conroy. Gets it back to the point. Witty with the shot, and that's a stop by Sherry Potter. As the Pacers got to throw everything at the net this period, or else their season's over. And it'll be another uh, game three against the Potters where they blow a 3-0 lead early. As now that's one, but Everard picks up the puck as he couldn't get around the net. As now Witten got that puck up for the Potters. And that's turned over. Good job by Ryan. As now Ryan up the, the boards. Ryan stops up. Back to Sullivan. Shot there. And that's to Sherry Potter and stopped. And now... Conroy after the puck as he gets the puck back as now Witty got that to Ryan. Spins and shoots and that stopped there as the pace has been in their zone for the whole period. So Fur trying to go back door as Everard can't get that as the fan stand turnover. Burke can't get the puck out as they'll lose. Shot! Another big stop for Potter as the Pacers throwing everything here in the first four minutes of the third. Can't beat Sherry Potter. As another win shot from the point. And that stop has been in the Potter zone for the first of uh, four minutes of this period. As oh my. And that's one by Trent Witten. As now, but now they get on the four check. As now they get it out though. Here comes Trevor Zegers. Getting chased by Ryan, but he gets it to Witten. He shoots it there, and that's blockered away. What a hit. Two hits by Connor Witte. And now back the other way comes Conroy. Gets it around Slade. Conroy, as though he couldn't get that back. Ryan gets the puck. He shoots. Loose in front. And that's covered up by Potter. Oh my. Trying everything to tie this one. Obviously not much in the standings either. So the Potters were the two seed and the Pacers were the three seed. Shot by Witty and now Conroy behind the net. Trying to wrap that around as they're trying to cycle it up the boards. But it missed it. And now in a foot race. And now Burke steals that. Here comes Burke. Stopped. Oh my. Trying to get the insurance marker. Witten backhander. As the Potters finally shown some offense here, but that's offside. Trying everything to protect this lead and maybe try and build on it. In game three, against their forever rivals, their provincial rival. And now they got it there. Turnover again. Jonathan Burke gets absolutely rocked by Witty. As now up through center, now Ryan trying to get the puck in, but he can't get it in deep. Here comes Big Kyle with a shot, and that stop there. As now maybe a two-on-one, as now Everard's going to get it shot, and that's gloved there by Potter. And covered up. 11.09 left in the third period, and of this series, unless there's overtime. And that's one there by Witten again. He's won some big draws. And now gets it in there. But the Pacers will get a penalty. Oh my. Not a great time for a penalty for the Pacers. Connor Witte goes off for tripping. And the Potters fans are on their feet. What a big moment in the game. And that's one there. Kyle with a shot, and that's stopped there. And now Burke picks it up. Jonathan Burke to Kyle, but that's turned over. Here comes Conroy, maybe a short-handed chance. Oh, my, just got to have reach. And now here comes Burke up with the puck with Witten going to the net. And now he backskates, scores! Johnny Burke makes it 6-4. to four. What a massive goal for the Potters. And that's the insurance marker, maybe. Back skates, posting in. And that was a costly penalty from Connor Whitty. Now they got to come back from, 
from two goals down. It's six to four. And so as the Pacers obviously not as could be knocked out in the first round for the second straight year. And now Witty sauce that up to Ryan. Try, got nine minutes to make that not true. Between the legs. Oh my. Almost a beautiful goal. And tries to cycle that around. Nobody there. Down to 8.30 to go. As now Witty's going to set that one up. And now he's going to look for opening man. And now maybe a three on two. Everard poked away. And now it's a chance. Here comes Trevor Zegers with Kyle going to the net. And he backhands that. Oh my, his, I don't know what happened there. So now here comes Com or Sullivan. Nice back check by Jonathan Burke. And now through the neutral zone. Gets it back to Sullivan. Ryan trying to go into the zone. Poked there as he can't quite get in there. Here comes Jonathan Burke. What a big hip check. As now trying to run out this clock. Here comes Sullivan trying to get in the zone. The Potters not making it fun for the Pacers. Trying to get that in front. He can't. Here comes Burke poked away. Down the 5.20 to go. Here comes Burke up leading the rush. He shoots up in the air. He scores. Jonathan Burke with a five goal game. And that could be enough for the Potters to move into round two. Seven to four with 4.59. What a resilient team the Potters are and there goes Devin Bungie to the bench and they're gonna pull Bungie and now Sullivan's gonna oh my turn over kept in somehow as now Kyle now that's turned over Mark Everard trying to get one here trying to get some life Conroy beyond the net to Witty shoots and that's gloved there and now Perot to Ryan now trying to feed that one in front as now they set it up again. One timer. And that's another stop. And now turn over to Zegers. Oh, he can't get it out. Trying to cycle that up the boards. Trying to just kill some more time. Gets it up to Burke. And now they get it out. Now Slade just gets down. But that's icing. Down to 153 the go. The Pacers need a miracle here if they're going to want to tie this one. They need three goals. And the Potters, it's looking good for them to move in the round. Number two off the draw. And that's another big stop. As he missed the puck there. Burke, as now they're relentless. Conroy! Oh, what a stop by Potter! Sticks out the toe! Oh, my goodness. As, obviously... So the story of the game so far. As now a shot from the the face off again. As now Witten shot and that's going to be another icing. So obviously a story of the game so far. P Pacers take a 3-0 lead. Three straight goals from Colby Ryan. Three, a hat trick. And then the Potters come back w before the end of the first. And obviously just dictated the game from there. As now Witty gets that puck from the... Now trying to get the one-timer for Ryan. They turn it over again. Ryan trying to go back door. Loose in front there. Turn over. Pro scores. 42 seconds. They need two goals. As obviously just whacking away at it. And Pro finds it. And the extra attacker gets on the board. And so it's a 7-5 game of 42 seconds. They get another one as they have a chance. Witty up through center, and there goes Witty to the bench again. Or sorry, that goes Bungie to the bench again. And now maybe a chance. Berg can't get to it off the side of the net. Oh, he couldn't get to the empty net. Here comes Witty. Now off the boards. What a move. Witty trying to get that one across. As kept in, Conroy shoots. And that's covered up, trying to just kill the clock. Can't get it down. Ryan gets that beyond the net. Ryan in front. Big stop. And that's going to do it for the series. As the St. John's Potters will beat the Ghouls Pacers and move in the round number two. What a game. 
And what a series between these two clubs. Obviously the two rivals and the Pacers couldn't get it done and can't get past the first round again. Obviously made it into the third round not as three seasons ago. Obviously that's when he lo they lost to Colby Ryan's Jungle Gyms who's obviously didn't make the playoffs last two years ever since Ryan left for the Pacers again. And what a series. I mean props to the Pacers who had a one nothing lead in this series and just couldn't get it done. Potters come back in this game and this series. And so I'll see you all in the next series.